afternoon everyone it's Rachel here and we are going to um, work on this fun little journal now I was thinking about the cover and I had this book here it's cracking a little bit there so I thought I might find some sort of lace I don't think I've got anything near me um, let's see no I needed a bigger piece some sort of not that one no these are all small yeah i wanted some sort of lace what's this one maybe something broken something here oh that's lovely on there i think i'm going to cut a piece of that off i might do it sometimes i like the the nice edge to go on this side um, I need to grab some fabric scissors. Oh, just been downstairs with Steph, and because we've got this store storage room, and um, and we did pack a lot of boxes and and put them down there, and so we need to put all of my a lot of my you know books and and stash down there, and but we had to clear out, which is the well, it doesn't really have a direction. I think I like that more. So I'm going to just trim it off a bit longer. That can be used for something else. And I'm going to glue that on there like that. And that will help keep it together. And then also I've got the fabric on the inside. But I think I might glue more on the front. I think it's that way. Than the back. So I need to get my PVA glue. Oh, it was exhausting. You know, books and papers and hemp and stuff, they're all very heavy. Um, so we've, and we brought up the boxes, so we've now got more boxes to unpack. I'll just close that for a second and grab this. And then I'll explain what I did inside. I, I, I did that so that way it dry, it'll be dry, ready for me to, um, you know, punch my holes and stuff. But I felt like this spine was the perfect height for what, actually I think I need to come over a bit further. So how is everyone today? Hope you all had a lovely weekend. So we went to um, Tuscany with our friend Mo from Modena and we stayed in a lovely agriturismo. So an agriturismo here in Italy is it's like a it's kind of like a it's like a hotel or more like a bed and breakfast really but they um, may have their own produce so these people were it was it like we went and stayed in this area we haven't stayed in this area before of Tuscany we usually go sort of around Florence or just outside of Florence or last year we went to Chianti um, but um, now that everything's sort of opened up and everybody's on the move again, it's really actually very hard. We, we had forgotten how hard it can be to find somewhere to stay for the weekend because lots of tourists, lots of... Um, I heard a few Aussies, not many, um, but I'm sure they are. I know they are travelling a lot. Um, I heard a lot of American accents um, and lots of Germans were about. I saw people from Belgium, you know, lots of Europeans here, of course, because it's easy. Um, and so probably Canadians, sometimes, unless I hear, hear certain words, I can't, I can't tell. Um, and so, yeah, it's quite hard to get bookings and the prices, oh my word, the prices, they were so cheap. Um, I'm so pleased that we did those um, trips in Italy in the summertime um, while COVID was happening. You know the the you know with the lockdowns and the not allowed to go to this country you had to stay in your country and that sort of stuff, um, because we got to you know stay in lovely places for much less. I mean now I can't even the places that we stayed at I couldn't even tell you what they cost now because they don't even show up they're all booked out. So um, so yeah so anyway we found this place, and it's not um your typical sort of well it is touristy but not not like other places. And so, um, yeah, it was really lovely. And 
and and then um, it actually um, ended up not being you know overly expensive and the people were lovely and they make their own wine and I understood that they make you know prosciutto and things like that or different kind of um, you know cured meats and stuff and um, and we did a wine tasting there and we had some delicious wines uh, that weren't nearly as pricey as what they are in Chianti so and we I actually like them more than some of the ones I had in Chianti so really 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 enjoyed that and really lovely people so I would try and go back there again um, and, and an area that I haven't explored yet now let's do work on these um, I did get a question that I haven't answered yet um, we'll let that dry a minute and then we'll look at that um, I did get a question uh, would it be easier to decorate your envelopes first um, the answer to that would be yes possibly um, but I tend not to do it because I like to see um, if I do it first then sometimes I'm not quite sure what's going to be next to it so I just like to I like to decorate them when I've got the feel of the project um, I don't know if that makes sense oh yeah I like to have a feel for the project before I start decorating my envelopes and I don't find it hard to decorate them while they're in the book so I think I'll, my first job will be before deciding to put any pockets in or anything like that would be to I wanted to grab a wet one would be to um <laughs> can't get my words out uh decorate my envelopes speaking of them and I'm just gonna grab that one and oh gosh so um yeah exo now I've got all these boxes to unpack <laughs> not fun right so I've got my folders here I've got all kinds of fussy cutting things here I found that need to be sorted out let's have a look what's in here uh, before we continue although I am liking the look of this I think this might have just been from the, the graphics fairies now this is a lovely writing place so I think one thing I could do is put a little belly band I could put something well, we've got lots of flip outs I probably don't need to do that um, I might I might do a bit of collaging on here I think I'm going to leave that I might put a tab on there or something so I could take a piece of this that I made with you guys a while back this piece here actually I'm not used to putting all my things away so I keep looking around my table for my for my scissors and I I don't seem to find them because they're not there I'm going to put that on there oh I was going to put that away I don't need to put that away um now oh uh, this glue. I might bring my glue container over closer. Okay. So we are going to have about, a, it's a 40. It's going up to 40 this week, guys. I am so, so thankful I'm in my home with my controlled temperature shall we say don't put the air conditioning on all the time because I don't need to because Steph insulated the walls internally um, because we had a, I, I think I told you this a million times because we had a mold problem and so um, and it wasn't going to be insulated externally because the other people in the building didn't want to do that so um, we did it internally and um, and it we've noticed a great difference in the temperature control now I've got my scrapbooks here. I'm still getting used to my space, so you might see me um, sort of dilly-dally a bit. I'm not, you know, I'm sort of flapping about trying to find things and, and figure things out because I'm not quite, I'm not quite there yet. I think I'll put that there. No, I wanted to put, I've changed my mind. I wanted to put some, you know, some sort of writing paper there. That's what I wanted to do. So if, if you do find um, sort of like my dilly-dallying a bit bothersome, I'm, I do apologise. It's just the way I am. I'm a bit of a um, random crafter. I can't help myself. I try to be organised, but it doesn't always happen. Okay, throw that out. I'm going to put some glue there. I'm not mad about that sort of look there, but we can put something there to camouflage it a bit and I'm going to grab my glue stick and then I'm just going to put a, oh kind of like that I like the writing 
I'm going to have the writing on that side. You can still write on there. Um, yeah, I'm still flapping about a little bit in my space because I'm not sure where things are. I've got my Dymono. What do you call it? My Dymono? Dymo? Dymo. This thing. This thing. I've been labelling everything. I've, I'm going to be labelling all of my threads so I know what's in them instead of searching, you know, pulling every single one down to find what I'm looking for. I've labelled all my tins, even though it's not the most attractive look in the world. I've I put labels on them because I cannot remember for the life of me what I put in them. And they are all storing treasures. And I've labelled all of my plastic containers because even though at a glance I can kind of guess what's in there, um, I find if there's a, I'm finding if there's a label on there, it's so much better. So that's that. And then I still want to put something there. I could put... Maybe not that one. This one. Let's see. Um, so everything's been labelled, and but I'm I'm st I, now that it, it's all been such a blur. I mean, moving is is the most horrible thing. Um, I still need it to fit. Maybe I'll put it like that. It's a bit random, but I like it. Oh yes, I like that. Um, so. So, yeah, I'm sort of already thinking, oh, for the life of me, I can't remember where I put that. Oh, I can't remember where I put this. So it'll take me a minute to sort of remember. If I do remember, I might not remember everything. Do I want to put that there? Not really. I think I'll leave that and we'll move on. So that's, that's as simple as that. You can write down there if you want to. You could put a pocket. This is definitely left for writing. I love the craft envelopes this was gifted these were gifted to me by sandra thank you sandra um and so then we've got these i'm not working on those now i'm working on the envelopey things and i need to fix that so we could put maybe just a nice little piece of printed marble paper um so yeah so we did have a lovely weekend and guys I'm I nearly I nearly fell out of the car with excitement. Uh, we're driving because you know the place that we stayed at was in the countryside, and so we're driving down their drive, which was a dirt sort of road. Um, and Pam, are you listening? This one's for you. I thought about you straight away. Uh, we saw a. I was going to say umpa lumpa bird. No, oopoopa, oopoopa, poopa bird. So let me see in my birds. I've got one in my digital kit and I thought they were African birds. And so we stopped the car and Steph and I saw it really well, the oopoopa bird. And I don't know if I'm saying it right. And so I couldn't believe it. And... And I tried to get my phone out to photograph it, but I couldn't because it just got scared and went away. And I don't think I've, I've used it. I use it all the time. It's the one with the, the tanny coloured crest. Oh, wouldn't you know I don't have one? I've used it. Um, I use it. It's always one of the first ones I use because I love it. Um, anyway, so we saw a poopoo, no, <laughs> an oopoopa, an oopoopa bird. And so I said, when I, when we were tasting the wines on our last yesterday morning, when we, before we left, um, I told the owner, I said, I saw, I saw, I looked it up on the internet, first of all, because I couldn't believe it. I thought, no, nah, that's an African bird. I shouldn't be seeing one of those. And so I looked it up, uh, typical birds of Camignano, which was the area where we were. And, and lo and behold, the first bird that they showed was the Upipa bird. And, um... So, so um, I said it. I said to the gentleman um, when we were tasting the wine. I said I saw a new pooper bird, and he said, he said yes, you did. I said, but I thought they were African, and he said, well, they come in the summertime, which I thought was really interesting. In the summertime, they fly over, because um, you know it's not that far to from um, to northern Africa from Italy. Um, so they fly over in the summertime and they come to Italy 
And then in the winter, they go back to Africa. So I did see a Oopooper bird. And so then I told my mother-in-law when we got back late yesterday evening, and she said, well, they are also here. Um, and that her brother had tried to build, um, he put something so that they would be encouraged to go and build a nest there, but they didn't come. They didn't build the nest where he was encouraging them to. Too, so they were disappointed but so they do actually exist in Italy which is really super exciting so um, maybe I'll save an image oh, I don't know um, I must have something with a new pooper bird on it I love that I put it everywhere UP UP UPA something like that I know I can't say it I just can't say it, but I was so excited. And we did see a fox in the night time too. And very close to the agroturismo where we were staying. Anyway, they had a lovely pool. It was so hot. They had a lovely pool, but it was, um, when we arrived, it was so crowded, the pool. Um, with a lo It was a, like an infinity sort of pool. Like, like not super luxury, it's just a normal pool, but it had an infinity edge on it. Um, and uh, going over, over the edge and then you're sort of looking at the Tuscan sort of hills and there were cypress trees and things. It was really pretty. I'd highly recommend going and staying there. And um, I'm not overly pricey as things can be. And so um, it was very, very busy on Friday. But then Saturday morning we had a lovely breakfast and then we just went and put our towels down. They had like this big gazebo, sort of long gazebo thing with all the deck chairs in it. So you could sit in the shade if you wanted to. And and in the morning, there really weren't many people there. So it was really lovely. It was really enjoyable to, to be there. Um, and then we had already decided that we were going to go and do something else later on in the day. So, I mean, before before lunch, we weren't going to have lunch there. And so we did, and we left when the people started to sort of build up. And um, and then Mo's like, let's go and visit, because that area is where the Medici family had, they bought lots of land there. Um, and they and they had, their, they had many homes there, like many villas. I don't know how they used them all, because there are multiple um, Medici villas in that area. So I really don't know what the purpose was of having all those villas, but I'm thinking I might put that there. It's nice and flashy. So um, we decided to go and visit the, it's called the Villa Medicea um, in Poggia Caiano. And it's free, guys, and it was beautiful. If I remember, I'll put a couple of photographs. We took some beautiful frescoes. It was really beautiful. We so enjoyed it. And then we went and had lunch just down in the town. And Steph... Steph is really actually, he's a genius at finding restaurants. He's very good. He's very patient. He goes through TripAdvisor and he reads all of their reviews. He looks at the photographs and everything. And then he always finds us the nicest places to eat. And we went, you wouldn't have given this restaurant two dimes, honestly. It was, um, to look at it from the street, you would have thought, oh gosh, I'm not going there. But the, often in Italy, those places are the best places because they're it, it's um, very um, sort of they call it casalinghi, very home sort of a homegrown sort of food, if you know what I mean. So we had a really nice, inexpensive lunch there. It was really great, and it was in air conditioning, so we were very happy. And then we had then Maurizio insisted <laughs> on going to Florence in the afternoon, and we know better than to, we. I mean, we do often go in July. But we know how hot it is. We know. We know we're going to suffer. And we did. We suffered. It was hot. But then we went and had um, dinner in this town called Artemino. And at the tiniest town, like literally after dinner, we said, oh, let's just have a walk around town. And there, I mean, there was nothing to the town. Like you, you walked up the road and down the road and, and there was the town. But then it had this big long um out of the you know the entry where the the tower was and they you know they used to close the gates to keep the enemy out there was i'm just trying to find some some washi tape i don't have any washi tapes here that i like so let me just grab them let's see what we can find in these ones 
um, so yeah, out of the town, there's a, there was this tree-lined road, and at the end was another Medici villa, another one, and that one is a hotel. I can't remember what it was called. I did take a photograph of the sign. Not that I would ever stay there, because it'd probably be way out of my price price range because I don't stay in really I stay in nice places but I don't stay in the really flash places because they're too flashy for me I'm not flashy I'm not a flashy person um, and I can't justify you know spending exorbitant amounts I like I spend a bit but not an exorbitant amount at a hotel sort of thing I want to be comfortable but not I don't want to feel like I can't do anything else because I spent all my money to sleep Okay, so um, that's just sort of decorated that. It's still okay for writing, but it's decorated and pretty. And I like I like the, the clashy. I do like the clashy. And on this side, I um, don't think I'm going to add anything there. I just like it's a, it. You can't tell, but it's a speckledy recycled one. So let's go through and see what else there is. Oh, there's that. Um... There's this one here. Now this has a lovely big opening, so I'm thinking I'm not, normally I quite often cover these and um, I glue down here, around here, and then cut it so it's a tuck, but I'm thinking I could trim these down. So it went, it was a bit easier to slide things in. Okay. I could do that or I could cover it with a decorative paper. I really like the look of that. I don't know what to do about that because it's that's sticky. That's sticky tape there. I could I could take a piece of some sort of that's just gonna look funny stuck in the middle like that. blue no that looks funny to me I could take something long but no that looks funny I didn't want to cover it up completely Got a bit of this old oh I don't mind that I'll tell you why because it blends in similar color and then before we before I go on any further with this project we will do more um, before I go on any further, we will do the Midori style binding and it will be ready to go. And then we can put in some pockets and things like that. So for the moment, I'm going to leave that like that. I know it's the back and it should be more exciting, but I'm going to leave it like that just for the moment. And we are going to move on. So we've decorated though. Let's just double check that we did do decorate the things that need to be decorated. I put everything away. I might put it all away only to bring it out again. So I'm probably not going to put anything on that. I just love that. I might put something here to reinforce there. But I haven't decided that yet. So there weren't too many envelopes to decorate unless I skip them, which is why I'm double checking. I've done that one. Now this here, oh no, that doesn't fold in. Okay, that, no, that won't do it on that one. I wasn't going to put anything on the vellum because if you if you glue that like a like a, a bird, like a fussy cut bird or something like that, or a butterfly, you can actually see the white on the other side. So I like to leave those and just put something pretty inside them. Like that one, so let's see. This one, see, I could do that. And fold those in and make it look like an envelope but it's not could do something like that I could even glue it down and make it an envelope that's that one decorated and then and we've done this one we didn't do too much on this one I might do something there let's have it oh no I'm gonna I want to do my Midori binding now because this will be sort of dry yep okay so all I did in here this this has this like fabricy sort of stuff in it um 
and I will put it in with the journal. I just wanted to show you the other pages that were in it. I don't even remember this book. This was in it, so that's going to go back. And it was in the library, 1862. So that was the library card. So, And then I had these. I must have kept a few. They must have gone into kits. Um, but there were these illustrations. So they're all going to go back in the book. That's the front cover. So I thought I'd... Um, the cover page. So I, I'll do something with that. And then um, here's another illustration. And then... Um, there's more oh there's a plane so i'll keep all that and this is like a fabric -y sort of thing so i thought um i would keep that as well and it will all go back into the journal and i covered this one up because it was like even more grimy than that one so i thought i'll cover that one up and we'll put a book plate or something there or we might put the book plate there and we'll put a pocket or i don't know might even leave it so now i need to uh, grab my I've got to figure out which drawer it's in. Oh, it's wonderful having drawers, I'll tell you that. It's just that you've got to remember where you put things. Here it is. I've got my clapper dial here. And we're going to put two eyelets in. And then I have to, in my brain, remember, <laughs> not outside of my brain, where, where did I put my elastic? I know it was floating around somewhere. So let's flip this over. And I did love the spine in this book. So I didn't want to cover it completely. I'm just going to eyeball. I won't come down too far. Because then I have to cut my pages you know, at an angle further. So there's my hole there. I just sort of eyeball it. And I need to scrunch in. Oh my gosh, and then I have to go out and do the hard work. Have pity on me, guys. I've got to go out and do the hard unpacking, more unpacking in the kitchen. Okay, so that's that one. Great. And what colour will I do? It's not perfectly straight, doesn't matter. I might do... Colours are calling out to me. Brown. Oh, maybe one of the these two. Kind of remind me of the the gold gilding. No, I don't like that. Um, well, I'll do the bronze. That's what I always do. Or I could do blue. I think I'll do blue. I like blue. We know I like blue. Blue is my colour. And these are We Are Memory Keeper ones, and they work really well. They are really good. I think the other bronze ones that I have mustn't be theirs, because I struggle with those ones. But I like the bronze colour, and I couldn't, I couldn't get them in theirs on our Amazon, which is the only place I can get these things. Okay, so put that back in that spot, you see, I can find everything. I need my scissors, I don't need my ruler, put that away. I'm not yet ready to show you guys because I'm still a mess. Okay, so which way is the up? Oh, and I also left this side too because there was someone's name written in there. But let me grab my elastic. Where is it? Aha, found it. I did find it. I'm only putting one signature. So I only need the two holes. They look pretty good to me. And so then what do we do? We go down. I need two holes. Excuse me. Two holes at each end. Ding dong. One above each other. Oh gosh. I hope I haven't messed up. I might have messed up, guys. In which case, do you know what I'd do? I would do Heather's method of binding i may have messed up no i haven't one there i can fit another one in lucky lucky ducky i'm sure you're all screaming at me you've done it wrong 
lucky I, re I mean I would have realized anyway because I couldn't put my eyelets in except I can't get there I should be able to get there it's that one hopefully I can get into this one cuckoo too excited Really, I, you can't see what I'm doing. I have to hold it near me so I can see where I'm putting my hole. It's a bit crooked. There we, you need two, guys. Two holes. If you're doing two signatures, you need two holes next to each other, side by side. If you're doing one signature, you need them top and bottom. Okay, I've done it. It's done. Fixed. We were lucky. I was lucky. Otherwise, I would have done um, Heather from Ruby and Pearl. She just does two holes and she just puts her sari silk and ties in the book through the two holes. Okay, here we go. So you go down the bottom one and uh, in the top one. And you come all the way down to the bottom. See how crooked it is? And then back in through the next one, if you can find it. Here it is. I don't cut my elastic because I don't want to, I don't, that's what I want to do. It takes me forever to work that out. My sister thinks it's hilarious. And then you just pull it taut, fairly taut. And you don't tie a bow, ding dong. I'm really a ding dong today. I'm out of out of sync with my crafting, with the moving. Probably don't need more than a single knot. Trim off the excess. And this is where our signature is going to slide in. And let's just check. I'm going to need to snip. So you have to snip. At an angle if you don't want to rip all your pages sometimes they rip anyway and then you've got to find your so-called center which mine does not doesn't really have a center it doesn't really because of the the wacky way that I put it together this could be my center could it that's the center of that one I think I'd like to go further than that. Let's find the center of this one and see. Here. There's a little bit more on this side than that side, but it doesn't really matter. You really can make your center, in this case, wherever. Because remember, I put multiple. See, it's ripping. It's okay. We'll let it rip. Here we go. And then I need to slide it up a bit. And that is my book in the book cover. And I've got lots of room to grow in there. So we will keep on keeping on with this little project. And this can come out and be replaced. So, or it can come out and be worked on too as well. So there we go. So I will, I will work on this some more in another video but we're also going to do some junk journal july as well so i'll see when i'll be back to work on this so i hope you enjoyed that just wanted to check in with everyone make sure you all had a lovely weekend and um yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye